All right, so now we've laid the machine down and you can see, like August explained, I'm in it and I'm looking around in the scene, up in the trees, down at the ground, but my head isn't really moving. As we showed you, um, the, my attempt to move my head is being detected by the machine. And so I'm able to look around the scene even though I'm not actually moving. Um, the, uh, you can see how sensitive it is. It doesn't feel quite like that to me because of course I'm the one looking around, but just a tiny a little bit of force lets me smoothly look all the way around one side to the other. And so what you can also see is that the screens, the three 4K OLED screens give me a really wide field of view because of course, since they're not mounted to my face, we can uh, arrange them so that they're back here to the side, you know, way, way, like that's about as far as I can see right there in my field of view. So this is something like, uh, I can put both my hands, this is something more like a uh, 200 degree or so horizontal field of view. Um, and then the vertical field of view is not quite that high, but it's, it looks like it's probably uh, maybe 140 degrees. So I'm able to look around in a virtual space without actually moving at all. And the other thing you'll notice is because I'm laying back, the vestibular system in my ears is of course not uh, normal. I'm, I'm laying back comfortably. And what one of the things we found that's good about that is that you seem to have a smaller sense of balance from your vestibular system when you're laying down as opposed to when you're standing up. And we think this might be one of the reasons why this experience feels less uh, nauseating, is that you're laying on your back and the combination of laying on your back and not moving your head at all means that your brain kind of gives up on the inner ear information that it's getting to uh, tell you whether you're you know, uh, balanced or not. Now the other thing we're able to do, you can see in my hand is the space navigator and I'm able to drive around in the scene, you know, just like I would in a VR scene. We've, we've been playing around with pulling swords out of stones, like you can see there. Uh, I'm also able to rotate. For those who've worked in VR before, like me, we all know that this kind of smooth rotation that I'm demonstrating right now is usually extremely nauseating uh, to someone wearing a VR headset. But surprisingly enough, it's not, it's not very nauseating at all uh, in here. And so we're actually able to simulate things like jumping, there we go, and smooth turning, and linear locomotion and translation, strafing, everything. Um, and this doesn't make you sick, or at least for the 20 or so people we've tested this with, it didn't make them sick. So we think this might be an opportunity to improve uh, the depth of immersion in a VR experience without um, inducing nausea. And so that's another really interesting aspect of the system. So next we'll, 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 we'll pull me out of here and talk a little bit about some of the other uh, things that we think we can do with this and how they'll work.